Hello, double O crew. That thumbnail was me last week in the same spot. And that's what I caught last week in this spot. About two hours of fishing, caught that one carp. So we're back here in the same spot today. Got me and uh, Master Bader here with me. We're going to see what we can catch. All right, well, my line stuck in a tree, but uh, it's looking like I had a nibble. We're gonna see what happens here. Did I have a nibble or what? Nah, no nibble. Let's see if the bait's still there. I don't know guys. When we first got here it looked pretty good. There we could see some definite signs of fish, but the action is just super slow. There's uh it's windy, it keeps blowing our lines around. And on top of that, the carp just ain't really feeding that well. I guess because the weather's still so cold, they're not really turned on. Yeah, generally in here we you can you know right away if they're feeding or not, because like he just said, you can you can see them. But right now we ain't seeing much feeding going on. We seen one one spot over there with some bubbles that keep popping up. Like one is uh, messing around on the bottom a little bit, but all the other sign we saw were just fish that were getting spooked or traveling. Nothing really feeding actively. So I don't know. I'll give you a little tip and trick, and it doesn't have to be with this kind of hook. It can be with any kind of hook. But uh, using smaller hooks like this, it's really hard to get more than two two kernels of corn on there. So a lot of people probably you know struggle and wonder how the heck am I supposed to get. A bunch of corn on the one hook. Well, it's easy. All you do, yeah, it's easy. You grab, shut your face. You grab a, grab a handful of corn, not a leaf, okay. And what you're gonna do is, you catch the corn. You're gonna slide the corn wow. on your hook, over top of your hook, past your eye, and on your line. Let it sit on your line. And you're literally just going to load your line up with as much corn as you can. And then when you're done, you're going to slide all your corn back down over your hook. So you have a whole bunch of corn in one spot for a good presentation. Yeah, Works better with a smaller hook. Because this one has the uh, weight attached to it. So it punch punches a big hole in the corn. And it uh, falls off a little easier. But you get the idea. And then once you get it all on, you slide it all down, you have your hook exposed, and you can still stick a piece of corn on the end of your hook. And voila. And that was Tips and Tricks with Obsession Outdoors. Stay tuned until next time. Like, sub, share. Hit the little subscribe bell so you get all the, all the notifications. It's called a notification bell. Shut up. Don't listen to him. He's a, he's a new bass. We'll see you next time on Obsession Outdoors.